no matter what you want to buy. You'll find it all on the hub. The SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Fashion is beauty. It's um, it's uh, personality. It's you know, uh, it's it's politics. It's it's economics. It's business. So that's what fashion is about, essentially, to me. I'm Sophie Zenga. I'm a fashion designer, and I'm from Dakar, Senegal. So the Sophie Zenga woman is um, she's a powerful woman. She's very well traveled. Um, she also, she's very feminine. Um, she likes to kind of mix and match high and low if she wants to. Um, she, she likes, she follows her trends, but she's, she's really into classic silhouettes. I was born in Senegal. I grew up in New York, Washington, D.C., lived in Kenya. So I'm kind of a citizen of the world. <laughs> I started the Sophie Zinger line in 2012. Um, I, uh, I launched it at the Pure Hotel. It was during the first ladies luncheon and it was in New York City and um, I was chosen to be one of the designers to show there. And there was a really big contenders there like Franca Susani and other you know industry professionals who were there. So that was my first show and um, it was in 2012. Um, my first show was such a, it was such an amazing experience for me, you know, I, it was my first time, I was super nervous, I didn't know how people were going to, you know, take it and, you know, but it went really well, I got really good reviews, people really, you know, approached me from then and told me that, you know, they really liked my collection and um, I should keep going and, you know, my mother was there, my husband was there, you know, it was nice, yeah. For me, it was always in another world, I'd be a fashion designer. So I'd be on my way to school in the car thinking about like how I put together the fashion show. I basically started with blogging and um, it, was, it was back then, blogging wasn't so big at the time. It was in 2005, 2006 and um, I just started putting trends together on my blog and I, I met like so many great people on the blog and they're still really good friends with me, of mine. And um, I, I, was, I was also studying economics at the time at the new school. And then to myself, I was like, you know, education is really important in all the different fields. So I was like, let me apply to like, you know, the best fashion design school in the US. If I get in, it's my calling. If not, I'll keep on. And that's what I did. And um, I got into Parsons in the school. And that's how I officially started everything. The beginning was really tough because I, I had to find people who were skillful, who understood my vision, and who were hardworking at the same time. And that was not easy at all. I was like knocking on all different doors, you know, trying to put a team together. Um, but I realized that it takes time, and you know, I had to train people from scratch. So I still work with the same team I started with. So I'm really proud of that because I'm really. I really like the idea of loyalty when you start a business and just growing with the people that you're working with. So that's what I essentially did. Recently, I was uh, I was at the I was selected uh, through I, through the Ethical Fashion Initiative by Franca Sozani uh, to show at the Vogue Talents Corner in Milan, and so that was a big thing for me. And it was it was an amazing experience. It was during Milan Fashion Week. I mean, Anna Winter was there. <laughs> I actually talked to her. <laughs> She's not that mean. <laughs> and it was amazing. You know, it was great. Uh, I got a lot of good advice from insiders such as Linda Fargo, Franca Suzani, Anna Winter, you know, Vogue editor of, uh, of um, London, of, U of the UK. You know, so it was great.
My new collection is titled Abyssinia, and I was inspired by Ethiopia and um, their beautiful culture. And um, I, I'm, I was specifically uh, focusing on the cross, and um, it's, it's deemed the African cross because it, was, it has a beautiful pattern to it. And I kind of infused that into uh, some of my uh, uh, silk satin, and also I used a lot of organza. The collection is very uh, feminine, it's pink, uh, it has different colors. I also um, used my signature tie dyed onto lace, which I, you know, I love, and I, you know, my clients love that. And I just reinfuse that every every season. And um, yeah, basically that's what it's about. I am very inspired by uh, African culture, and also I'm also inspired by also all the travels I've been to, all the places I've been to. And uh, I feel like this is a, such a great time to be in the fashion industry as an African designer and as a, de a designer point blank because we have so many different things that, are, that have opened up you know, to us in terms of like opportunities and platforms. So I feel like this is a great time for me to uh, be in the industry. I hope that uh, people really appreciate the collection and um, I hope to get uh, people to want to know more about it and ask me more questions at the Lagos Fashion Design Week. So I think it's going to be exciting. Um, the fashion industry is uh, it's booming in Africa and I think that you know right now what we need is education, a lot, a lot more schools. I think that's really important for us up and coming designers based in Africa because we need more skillful people and people who are you know, excellent in their fields because that's where we're striving for excellence. And I think also we should have um, a, something like-minded as a CFTA, like a great platform for all designers to be able to come together and you know, you know, create funding for, for designers because that's an important aspect of the industry. You know, money is always an issue, so I think that would be like moving forward that that's what we're missing right now. Council Fashion Designers of America and basically what they do is they unite all the um, all the fashion designers who are based in America who are American or just New York based or and and they just kind of provide opportunities to them they put them on a on a show on the New York Fashion Week and they also provide um, funding to some of them and there's like different um, uh, types of opportunities for all these different designers. So it's like it's just like a incubator, incubator type of you know platform. I think it's great. I think we would it would be amazing to have that in Africa. So I, my advice to up and coming designers or somebody who's looking to get into the fashion industry, my, it's go to school, get a formal education. You know, make sure you have um, the foundation that you need in order to uh, succeed because right now the fashion industry is very competitive there's you know so much talent so it's not just about talent now it's about merging the two talent and education so just to you know better be better positioned to be on the top um, in the future uh, Sophie Zinga for Sophie Zinga I'm looking forward to stock in you know different uh, locations in the US and the UK and especially in Africa, you know. Uh, I think uh, it's important for us to be able to, you know, have our brand and available to different African cities all, all over Africa because at the end of the day, we're, you know, we're trying to um, relate to our people and then relate to everybody else around the world. So Sophie Zing is an international brand um, based in Dakar, but we, want, we would like to dress everybody. Hi guys, if you just enjoyed watching that video and you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment, lifestyle and more from inside Africa, why don't you hit the subscribe button right now. And if you want to keep on watching videos, then just simply hit the more videos button.